Hello everyone, Chrissy here from the Creative Eclectic, coming to you from Brisbane, Australia. Hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. Um, and I hope you're all having a great week. Um, I'm sorry I'm a couple of minutes late. Our dog groomer was very very late coming tonight so she's here so hopefully um, she won't interrupt us while we're watching so I'm hoping this is working let me have a look here we go Right. Yeah. So, I'm really sorry, everyone, that I'm so late, and I um, I was a couple of minutes late, but yeah, hope you forgive me. I am looking forward to crafting with you tonight. Oh, let me just see if I can straighten that camera a little bit. Oops. For some reason. It says my video is ended. Let's just try that again. Okay, let me see. It looks like we're still. Hi, Glenda. Thank you for watching. Let's move that up a little bit. This has got <clears throat> everyone watching. Uh, it's my um, live streaming isn't working very much well, but we'll see how we go. All right, let's hope we're doing okay. It says I'm still live. Can't see a thing. All right. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm just going to pretend I'm still live and I hope that I am. I can't, oh, there you go. I can see Belinda, I can see Glenda, I just can't see my video. Um, let's see if it's, um, I wonder why that's not working. I am still live, thanks, Belinda. <laughs> I might have to tell, have people tell me what um, I, they're saying. I might not be able to see the comments. We'll see how we go. Oh, hi, Kim. Oh, great. <laughs> I have no, I can't see anything that's happening. I've got my laptop here. So let me just close out of that and try again. And um, oh, the joys of technology. I hope everyone's having a really great week anyway. And um, oh, here we go. I think I can see me now. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you everyone for joining me. I, um, yeah, I'm having a bit of a week. <laughs> but I wanted to start tonight by... Um, just going back to a card that I created a couple of weeks ago and um, it keeps dropping out on my laptop and this is a card I created a couple of weeks ago and I had I guess put out the challenge to see who would create a little pop-up card like this and lo and behold oh hi Carol Thanks for watching. Lo and behold, I got this in the mail. So this is, I hope we'll start with this bit. Now this is a version of that same card. But how cool is that? So instead of doing a circle like I did, they, um, Megan did a, um, did it all with squares. 
and there's stitched as well well I think she is a perforating tool but how good is that I hope you can see those Um, and anyway, so I hope that that, um, is working. How cool is it? It's so lovely. So if I don't, um, reply to your comments, it's just not that I am not watching it. Uh, the comments, it's just that it keeps dropping it. The internet for my laptop keeps dropping out for some reason <sighs> and it's such a good like so it's such a good version so they're the two cards together how good are they and I also received photos from Glenda Small of hers so both Glenda and Megan will be getting a little something in the mail um, to say thank you as a little prize because I can't decide between the two but this one was mine and I think they did such a fabulous job so thank you and it was such a surprise for me to get this from Megan and um, for her to send that to me I I'm so absolutely chuffed I think that's um so thank you, Megan, and too bad if you didn't want me to show it. <laughs> um, so I'm absolutely ch chuffed that I got that. All right, so this week, um, what have I got to talk to you about? We've got, um, we're going to be playing again with the Shining Brightly 12 by 12 DSP. And um, I'll see how my hands are cooperating. They're better than they were yesterday. I'm not shaking today, so that's good. And my, I'm not, they're not as swollen today. They still hurt, but yeah. Um, so we're playing with the Shining Bright Leaf DSP, as I promised last week. And um, I've got three projects, I think. And because I prepped them for last week. And, oh, thank you. Oh, yes, I've got new nails. So they're very, very short this time. Because um, this one popped off and then so did that one. Um, so we had to redo a few. And unfortunately, Mr Tran was away this week, or last week. So I had to have someone else do them. Which is always disappointing. Anyway, so I've got my, um, some designer series paper and let's see if I can remember what we were going to do with this one. Um, yep, I've got nothing. Okay. Oh, yes, I do remember what I was going to do with that. Okay. Ah. It is such gorgeous paper. Oh, you've got to be the family. We've got lasagna in the oven and it smells so good because I got it from New Farm Deli last week and um, it was in the freezer and Steve decided that's what we're having. And it smells so, so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it is beautiful paper and... So this was a fairly simple card, as a, if I remember correctly. Okay. So this is going to be really, really, really simple. Because I wanted to show you, you don't have to do a whole lot to make something that looks nice. Okay. Oh, Kim, you need to get the Autumn Specialty DSP. Yes, I thought that was lovely. All right, so today will be will be simple projects, and oh, but Megan would be really excited. I bought um my um piercing mat 
upstairs. Look, it's and it's well used. I've got another two, um, but so we've got a piece of um, Knight of Navy. And please forgive me if I struggle a bit today. Knight of Navy, dear um, cardstock. And my very vanilla, and I'm using very vanilla because the paper isn't white. Okay, all right, so then we've got a little strip, and this is a no stamp card. This one, oh. all right, so um. Just drawing a bit of, I'm going to move that out of the way and make it easier for myself. So I've got two strips of DSP and I'm wanting to make this nice and easy. So this is one of those cards that you can make when you don't have a lot of time. All right. And... You want it to look fabulous, but you don't want to spend a heap of time on it. So I've got some of the ribbon. Now this ribbon is just stunning. So what I'm going to do is grab my... Um, what are these things? Mini blue dots. You can see what sort of day it's been, what sort of week it's been. I said to Steve earlier... Oh my god, it's been a year this week, and he just laughed. So anyway, so so while we as we speak, Delphi is getting all of her winter coat shorn off. She hasn't had a haircut since June, so she might end up being a naked dog. <laughs> Um, but she'll be so much happier. We're just hoping it's not too short because she gets sunburnt. Because she's got, under all that white fur, she's got pretty pink skin. Okay. Alright, so I'm just um, attaching the ribbon. So this ribbon is stunning. And it's from the mini catalogue as well. From the same collection or suite of products. And I was being really organised but left my catalogue downstairs. So anyone who wants to look up what page in the catalogue that that this suite of products comes from, you're more than welcome. And they can tell me the name of the ribbon. It's not just called the pretty sparkly blue one. Although I think that sums it up pretty well. I do love this ribbon. Oh, Kim, your Be Mine paper came today. Well, I got a big brown box full of retreat items today. And it was so <laughs> heavy and so big that Steve had a bit of trouble bringing it inside because they fit everything in the one box. So that was really exciting. So, so now Vicky and I have to go and... Um, sort through that. Now, I'm not exactly sure that this is how I intended this to go when I first did it. I'm just going to pop a bit of seal underneath where the ribbon's going to go. Just there. So that it doesn't fall off. So this was my no stamp card and I think that it works pretty well. You could, and we might do this. I just have to think about it a little bit. We could just stamp on the um let's put a glue dot under that. Could just stamp on the DSP, that would work. I'll put glue dots under them, then they won't lift up. So how's everybody's week? It's mini catalogue page 77, thank you. And it's Night of Navy Glittered Ribbon. 
gold. Not if navy and gold. So this is really. Oh. Yes. Oh, what was that? Dorothy loved it. Yes, she did. Oh, you're back, Megan. Oh, you missed out. I used my um my mat, Megan. Never used my mat. So this is the quickest card on the planet. I'm just going to um, do my ribbon. Now, because this keeps popping up here, I just need to probably secure it with another glue dot. Now, let's see if I can do a ribbon, a bow today. I've been practicing doing bows today so I could do them on camera. And I'm making it look awfully awkward. Um, so I've had, I get fibromyalgia and I have had um, some major flare ups in the last two weeks. Well, I've had four really bad ones and I'm recovering from a really bad one that was yesterday. And, um, I, um, sometimes my hands don't work the way that they should. And it, fibromyalgia is one of those things that affects sufferers, each sufferer differently. And unfortunately, because I am, um, I get lots of adverse reactions to medications, I, um, can't take a lot of the things that they give you and so uh, I just have to write it out really so this is my simplest ever first card I don't even think that it needs bling and I'm hoping Jodie's not watching so that she can't tell me I'm, no you need bling <laughs> um because I don't think it does I think it's a really simple card I think it, um, if you wanted to, you could stick a little, let's stick a little glue dot under the um, tails of that ribbon so it sits where we want it to sit. Instead of going rogue. Because it's okay to go rogue when you're in mystery stamping, but it's not okay to go rogue when um, we want it to stay in a certain place. And the ribbon is is such that you can stick glue dots behind it without it being too obvious. So there we go. So that's our first card. How, how good is that? Nice and simple. So you could make a lot of cards out of that. So out of two sheets of... 12 by 12, you could probably get um, 24 cards if you just did it like this. Okay? So if you wanted to, you could put a sentiment down there. You could either stamp direct on there or you could um, put it on a little piece of scrap. But really, really simple. And you do think we need a sentiment. I'm going to think about that sentiment while we make the others and I'll come back with to that. How does that sound, Glenda? I did have another piece of ribbon, but I don't know what I was going to do with that ribbon. Maybe I was going to put it over the top. I don't know. But, yeah, I think that it's quite nice. And All right. Look little bears on there I don't, I don't even know what that stamp set is from all right let's see let's try card number two mm. you can put a sentiment inside Linda all right so this is card number two oh, yes I remember what I was going to say because I designed these last week, I have it's a bit of a memory game. It's like, oh, I've got these pieces of random paper and I didn't draw a sketch or anything. So I um, am 
hoping that it's going to work out the way that I want it to. So this is a 8 inches by 5 and 3 quarter inches and I've scored it at 2 and then at 6 I believe. Let me just get a bone folder. I must have needed to um, change my blade on my cutter. Now I've got my piece for the inside. And we, today we're going to use the Joy of Christmas stamp set. And I want to keep it really nice and monochrome. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Belinda. Um, I'm not normally this organised, <laughs> but I thought today I would, well, I thought last week that it would be good. Well, I've got all these packets from the dies, and I was so excited because um, at the moment, to keep my these dies in place, I'm actually using the fridge magnet from the real estate agent because I didn't have any magnets. But I ordered some and they arrived today. So I'm a bit excited about that um, because I'll be able to have proper magnets on the beginning of my... Um, uh, on the inside of my um, stamp cases. Mm. Um, did I get the Mary and Bright Bundle Suite? I got the paper. Oh, Belinda, they were on sale at Craft Online on the weekend. But they will have a Black Friday sale coming up. They always do. I'll send you the link to the ones that I got. Um, all right. So... Over the weekend, Steve spent some time cleaning all my blocks for me. What a good man. And um, so our blocks are nice and clean. He cleaned all my bone folders and my scissors. Only because he went to use the scissors and they were um, very, very dirty. So I'm going to start with this stamp and it's um, basically holly leaves. Um berries and stuff. That's a technical term for it. Holly leaves, berries and stuff. And I just want to do some along the edge. So I'm going to stamp off my edge. And now this is the inside of the card. So you don't want it all over the inside, but you do want it around the edges to make it look a little bit fancy. My answer about the stamp set, I didn't get the stamp set. I only got the paper and the foils, Megan, uh, and the ribbon and the bling, but I didn't get the actual dies and stamp set. Okay. Um, same with this um, suite on page 77. I didn't get the stamp sets that went with that either. I just got the... Um... Oh, I did that the wrong side. I just got... You know, I'm being very naughty. I should have this underneath. But... To do a little bit of rearranging here. I just got the um, paper and bling that went with this set. Okay. I hope that all made sense. I was just babbling a bit there. Okay. I just think this is such a pretty, pretty... Um, stamp. 
So you've still got plenty of room to write in the middle. Yeah, oh, is it a bit growing in you? I'm still not convinced, Megan. Really not convinced. So this is that's the inside. We also need to do something with some sort of sentiment. So we're going to be... Making spirits bright, joyous, and Noel. I think I like the Noel. I think that will work really well. But I've just changed my mind because I had a bit of an idea, a bit of a brainstorm. The lights are on your list and the star bundle, that's great. Have a good night, Belinda. Thanks for popping by. Okay. Um, yeah, there's always lots of things on my list. I think I've got most things on my list. I did want to get the, um, what do you call it, the... Halloween treat boxes, whatever they're called, but I um, have decided against that because it's really probably a little bit too late. So I'm just, first of all, before I'm stamping the word joyous, I'm just going to add a little bit of um, interest to my punched circle. And I'm just adding this on the bottom half of the circle. And I've stamped it off first. Okay, that's sort of a bit in a straight line. Okay. Oh, you got your big brown box today. What was in it, Megan? Mine just had retreat stuff. So much retreat stuff. So we're being very monochromatic with this. Um, I'll just stamp it one more time. I'm just going to stamp it off just to make sure that it... The first time I'm using it, so I'm just inking it up and sitting it on my... Um, on my ink pad just to make sure that it gets a lot of ink on it. And I'm hoping you're not seeing my head. Because my screen keeps telling me my video has stopped and it's finished, but we all know that it hasn't. Yeah, I had a bit of gold ribbon, which is, this is an online extra. And so we're going to use this bit of gold. Now be really careful when you're taking your um, photopolymer stamps off your blocks. They can tear. So I'm just going to put some... Lots and lots of seal on the back here. And I'm going to wrap my little gold ribbon around. Okay. Then we've got... Whoops. I've got a decorative circle punch and I'm going to pop that on the middle. Now if you wanted to stamp something else you could. Now this is a gatefold card 
so it's going to have a belly band on it. Alright, so that's it's coming together. I'll put my piece of scrap away. So I've got my piece of... Um, now this is about... Can we still see my screen? I'm just not sure if I'm right in the centre of the screen. You'll tell me if I'm not. Hmm. Oh, you had two adhesives, of much of most of the adhesives, Knight of Navy cardstock, uh, glitter paper. Mm -hmm. oh, is that the new online exclusives glitter paper? Delightful florals, DSP. So what I'm going to do with this bit is I, it's, I'm just going to cut it in half. So the easiest way for me to do that is just do a little, little thing at the top here. Okay, grab my trusty paper trimmer. Oops. So it's just about seven, uh, one eighth of an inch smaller than four inches. Okay. Now, when you're making a card like this, make sure you keep your pattern lined up. You don't want to have to grab out the um, dental floss and prise it off. Okay. You're probably thinking, Chrissy, what on earth are you doing? But I'm thinking that too. Yeah. Was it windy at everybody's places? Oh, is this so oh the silver and gold pack. Ah, oh, yep. That's from the annual catalog. Is that right? I haven't looked at most of the, from the annual catalog. I haven't looked at most of the specialty papers that aren't right. So we're putting that on the inside. I'm going to grab our, so we want to make sure we've lined up the right pattern. Yep. This pattern like this. That needs you guys to get it right. Oh. There we go. So we're going to line that up and stick it on. Just going to move my good paper out of the way. manky piece of grid paper. It was very windy today. I was a bit concerned that the dog groomer was coming so late. Like she was supposed to be here at seven o'clock. No, sorry, six o'clock this morning. And she came at six o'clock tonight um, because she wasn't well this morning. So um, I was very, very concerned about poor Delphi being out in the cold getting groomed. And um, but we'll see shortly if she's naked or not. And I'm, I'm sure that I'll hear her little feet running up the stairs fairly soon. Because it was a lot of work. I think she's probably got about three kilos of hair. Hmm. But anyway, so I'm going to pop this side on and keep making sure that we've got plenty on there. Mm. Um, I was awake at four, Nathan. <laughs> um, that happens sometimes. I didn't actually have a reason to be awake today. That's a problem. That was the distressing thing. Usually I wake up early because I have video conference calls and stuff like that. But I didn't today. And so, yeah, you got to get them in. Get them in and um, get groomed when you can. So I've got a piece of another piece of paper from that pack. And it is, let me tell you the size, it 
is two inches wide by around about nine inches long. So this is going to be our belly band. Oh, you took Basil to a behavioural vet. Basil's a dash hound, isn't it? Um, yeah. Well, Delphi knows how to behave. She just chooses not to. All right. So, all I'm going to do is I'm just wrapping that round. Okay. This is really easy, the easiest way. Hi, Helen. Thanks for watching. Oh, my niece has got... A very very vocal long haired dash hound and when we go on our holiday in November um, Delphi is going to spend the week with Chippy and Chip has his Chip has his own little Instagram page and but he's very very vocal and we don't know quite how they're gonna go they get along quite well but We'll see. All right. So I'm just going to add my, um, oh, sorry. I, so you just wrap it around and chuck a bit of adhesive. I haven't stuck it because you need to, it to slide off. Um, I'm just going to put lots and lots of dimensionals on this. Oh, she is not Kim. She's definitely not the best behaved ever. She ran away when she saw the groomer's um, van because it's a new groomer. And we haven't, because our old groomer, he can't come to us anymore. He can't be in an enclosed um, area with pet hair because apparently there's some lung disease you can get from being exposed to pet hair long term like as a groomer so he um can't do that anymore so this is our card so far it definitely needs a little bit of bling so we're going to use these uh, the adhesive back star trinkets. I think that they need to have more of these in a pack. Okay. Um, Delphi is a groodle. So she's um, half golden retriever, half pool. Um, both her parents and grandparents were groodles as well. So she doesn't shed. But she, um, she's a little bit, well, she's very intelligent, but too intelligent for her own good. Yeah, she, um, she looks like a sheep. Well, she did an hour ago, so let's see what she looks like. I'll give you, I'll, I'll share photos. All right, I think that this could do with a little bow as well. So we're going to do a big star. Now, I don't know if I like this, but do a nice big star on this. So it's a fairly easy card. I think that all too often when we make cards, we forget that the sentiment or the image doesn't have to take up the whole front the whole circle you could um you can mix it up a little bit i'm just going to get my 10 second bow maker out and um make a little teeny bow let's see if i can do this just stick on the front Can this look hard sorry Meg um, just a little teeny bow because I do think it needs a teeny bow on it just to add a little bit more interest 
I do like the new dragonflies that are yet to be released to everybody, Kim. Um, I um, think that they're lovely. So what else has everybody been doing this week? Has anyone um, been to um, any retreats or anything over the weekend? Glenda, then I, one of my girlfriends was having a retreat not far, well, it was a little bit far from you at Bagheera. Um, I know that's a little couple of hours south, or maybe four hours or something south of you, but wondered if you went there. Oh, you're teasing everyone, <laughs> Kim. Yeah, well, next month they'll be released and everybody can see them. All right, let's pop this little little bow on. A little bit wonky. I do think it looks better than without the bow. I'm still not happy with the placement of that. So what I'm going to do, I put the big one down the bottom and pop a smaller one up the top here and another smaller one over here. So what do we think of that card? So this is our little, um, it's very, very simple. Again, you can make lots really quickly. I have gone over the edge there, but I knew that I had a little gap. Probably need to trim off the top. So I had a bit of a wonky fold. Before I photograph it, I'll trim it up. Hi, Lynette, how are you? We're just doing some really simple, simple cards tonight. So we've done our first one and we're just deciding um, whether or not that needs a sentiment on the front. I'm thinking we do. And then this is our little belly band one. Um, last week I showed this paper with, uh, we coloured it and used it with Pretty Peacock. And this week we're doing the Night of Navy. So we've got one more quick card to go. One clunky is authentic. Uh, Carol loves gate cards. Well, yeah, I'm nothing if not authentic, um, Kim. Very, very real. All right. So... These adhesive backing things drive me absolutely nuts. They are everywhere in our house. Oh, well, Delphi does pick them up in her wall, Delphi dog, but she won't be able to do that anymore because they'll be gone. That wall will be gone today. Mm. All right. Oh, I haven't done the centre of this card. Now this is um, a really simple, simple, simple card again. So I have an, a problem that I am usually really, really frugal with. <laughs> um, oh, Kim, I find them in the bed, in the fridge, in the toilet in the shower i find them everywhere um anyway so i have i was back to i have a problem that i am usually frugal with my dsp so at the end of a catalog i usually have stacks of dsp left so i am trying to be less frugal with my dsp and use as much as I can all right so this one I have already stuffed up in that I haven't got the white piece for the inside uh, sorry the yeah it'll be white for this one no it'll be vanilla but I've got two pieces of GSP so this is um, 
a quarter inch smaller than the card front. Oh, I folded that wrong. Um, and then this one is, I should have changed the background rather than having the blue background today. So this one is three inches by four and seven eighths. So, all right. So this one's just half a piece of cardstock. So if you're in the US, just do half a piece of the letter cardstock and just adjust your sizes. All right, so I've got some stuff already cut out because you don't need to see me cutting. Mm. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I've got these two pieces. Now, if I was being really frugal, I could cut a little square out of this centre and then cover it up. But I am being generous with my cardstock today. And you're probably thinking, oh, Chrissy, that looks dreadful. Trust me, I've got this. Totally got this. Okay. Okay. So, I'm putting my, and this is also from the same pack, the try and have it centred top to bottom, but it really doesn't matter if you don't. Now you're probably thinking, why didn't I just stick that on there? So you've got some lines that you can sort of line it up with. So you use a pattern to line it up. That's my tip of the day. Then we've got a piece of this um, online extra gold ribbon. And I'm going to put a whole heap of... Um, whatever this stuff is, seal. I keep going to call it snail. Isn't that funny? I had snail in my stash for so many years. I can't get used to not calling it snail. Right. So I've got this piece here. And I am just going to fold that over. So really what that does is it covers your fold line. Or the the join line. Well, it should cover your join line. Oh, the laptop keeps going to sleep. You still have snail, Megan. I used my last one last month. So yeah, I held on. So that's the first bit. Now you're probably thinking. Why on earth has Chrissy got a little loop here? Well, it's not just a mistake. What I want to do is, because I wanted to have like a tie on here, but I um, didn't know how well my hands would be working. So I've just tied a loop. And we'll get um we'll get a glue dot first. Now I am sticking to everything. Oh yeah, I did like snail. They changed the formula of the snail at one point. And once they did that, I think, Megan, that it stopped being as good. Like, it used to be fabulous. It never used to get caught up on itself and it used to be so good. And then they changed who they had manufacturing it. And it was just a disaster. All right. So, we've got this little loop here. I could have made it a bit smaller. And so what you do is you just trim that off or oh, cut that and then it just falls the way that you want it to and you can trim it to the size that you want it to all right so 
I've got heaps of adhesive on the back of this. So we're going to line this up in the centre. Now, if I had been really smart about it, I would have put a vanilla layer between the two layers of blue, but I'm not being smart about it today. All right, so that's the, we've started with our background of our base. Now, we need to decorate it. So what I've done here, this set here, this Joy of Noel, has um, a Noel die. So I have cut that out both in Night of Navy and some of the blue... Um, uh, sorry, some of the vanilla cardstock, um, DSP. Alright, sorry about my words not working today. I, um, we're getting there. Alright, so what I need to do is, I'm just going to use the back of my dimensional packaging. And I'm going to layer, if I had been smart about this, I would have put some um, adhesive backing on my um, uh, before I die cut, I would have put some adhesive on this, now let me see, and you know what I did? Cut that back to the front. I oh, know, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm doing it a little bit differently to how you might think. Well, let's turn it around and see if it works. I haven't played with these dies before tonight, so, um, oh, there we go. That looks better. So I'm just offsetting the cream GSP with the navy okay then I um just gonna make sure it doesn't stick to that then I'm gonna do that with the uh, so to make this easier for yourself you really should use the um the adhesive backing sheets so that when you die cut it, you're not having to worry about using glue and getting it stuck to you. So again, we're just going to offset it a little bit so that it's sort of like the blue is forming like a shadow, if that makes sense. We'll do the same with the E. And this looked good in my head, so if it doesn't look good, my apologies. But it looks fantastic in my head. Like, so, so good. Now, if you had... If you had gold foil or something like that, or the glimmer paper... You could use that. So we're up to the L. So again, this is almost going to be, I think, a no stamp card. Um, yeah. All right. Let's So what's everyone got planned for the rest of the week? I'm just going down to see if I can see the rest of the comments. Oh, oh I've got some, missed a couple of comments. Sorry if I've missed your comments. Oh, 
can't see. I've got like 72 comments that I can't see. All right. Okay. So apologies if I'm not answering your comment. So we've got our Noel. Now, what would make this look even better is if you die cut the... Um, When you die cut the blue, if you had to put them on the adhesive, um, adhesive foam, because there's a die cutting foam you can use. We did, I didn't, so we're going to resort to the edges of our um, dimensionals to do this. The N is upside down? Yes. I was just testing you, Leanne. <laughs> I'm just making sure everybody was awake. <laughs> Luckily, I hadn't stuck it on yet, eh? You've got card making tomorrow and then you're helping me on Thursday. Kim's um, got... Um, she's just trying to get through the week. What cards are you making tomorrow, Carol? I'm intrigued. I think it would be... Um... Now you've got to make sure when you put the N on, you put it on the right way and that you've got your backing paper off. It would be so much easier if I had a die cut this with the um, with the adhesive foam on the back of it. that off. Steve's probably going to be watching downstairs and going, oh no, she's got adhesive on my scissors again. Mm. Christmas, you don't know what designs yet. Ah. So, I'm going to do this around about centre. I'm going to do it a little bit toward more above the centre, just because and you've got to make sure when you do it because I've done the end upside down. I wasn't thinking. It's um it's shadows in a different place. Alright, let's get some dimensionals on our O. I should probably have used mini dimensionals and that would have been a bit easier as well. Leonie, what are you doing for the rest of the week? And Lynn, what are you up to? I hope it's something exciting. I'm just trying to get through the week too. I've got to take some photos of my retreat cards and send them to Vicky. I was supposed to send them today for her birthday, but I'm not letting her work on, on retreat stuff on her birthday. I um, decided that that wouldn't be a nice thing to do. So we're really looking forward to retreat in November. What else have we got coming up? Well, we've still got the um, joining special on. Oh, and that's what I wanted to say. Um, I've got a new team member. So welcome, Lee. Um, we're very happy to have you as part of the Flaminx. And um, I'm really excited to be to share your stamping up journey with you. I'm so excited. I haven't had a recruit for quite some time, nearly a year. So a year, yeah, probably a year, maybe or maybe six months. But I'm very very excited, and because um, I haven't, 
it wasn't the right time previously for me to recruit, but now it is. And um, so I'm just, I'm very honored to have someone who decided to join my team. So the recruiting special, or the joining special is, um, is a um, really great deal. So it's, you either pay 35% less for your $235 worth of products, or you get pay, so you pay about a hundred and nine dollars Australian, or you um, pay the normal joining price. And I've lost my L. Oh no! Where did it go? This is why you don't. Just you don't, um, oh, there it is. You don't do it on a, a, um, background. Oh, you have got a card class on Saturday, Megan. That's great. Oh, and you've heaps of swaps to finish. Well, that person that you haven't sent their birthday card to, um, so, Carol, they don't have dimensionals that you can die cut with, with, but they do have um, an adhesive foam. When you, I see you on Thursday, all going well, I shall show that to you. Um, it's fabulous. It makes your life a lot easier. I wouldn't, don't use it on intricate die cuts. Um, but on letters like this, it works really well. Um, works really, really well on letters like this because they're nice and big and, and I've got some adhesive backing stuck to that. So we'll just cut that off. Oh. And you think you've got a class on Saturday? Is that... You're going to a class, is that right, Megan? Well, thank you, Megan. I, um, heaps of swaps to finish. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, I've got my Halloween projects to finish and a Christmas, um, project to finish, a 3D one to finish. Um, I'm working on a website, a new website at the moment, so hopefully that will be done. All right, so I've got these little, um, now these little leaves are still, are they still from this set? These are these from this set here. So there's lots of things, like lots of pieces that can be die cut. Okay. Um, my intent originally was to cover these leaves with some gilded flakes. Unfortunately, I don't have the gilded flakes up here. So we're not doing that. I thought I was doing pretty well. I got most things. I even remembered my mat, Megan. Oh, an online class with Vicky. Yep. I thought that's what you meant, but I was just clarifying. Um, you've got to go. Having a great night, Kim. I'll talk to you soon. So, I've got, so when I die cut these. So when you die cut these leaves, what... I recommend, and I didn't do it when I die cut these ones, is you um, I don't think I'm going to stick these on this time. I am just going to place them where I want them because I will go and put some gilded flakes on it because I think that needs the uh, gold. 
So when you die cut them, run them through your face down and then flip them over and turn them 90 degrees and run them back the other way. So that way you've got a good clean cut, okay? All right. So that's what you'll, because um, this one isn't a clean cut and it's because I didn't do it like that. All right, so we're just going to, so you're just going to pretend that this is finished, all right? So imagine our leaves have got gilded flakes on them, so they're nice and gold. And we're just going to trim down this little bit of ribbon here. So we've got three quarters of the way finished this card, but I can't finish it right now. Let's trim off that excess. So can we? Can you visualise where that's going? I could even put these the other way. But I like them going upwards. And we're going to put some. I'm going to put some little a little star in there as well. Okay. Can we visualise that? Okay. I'm just going to pop another little star up here well it's a big star actually so we'll have three embellishments on our card and we're going to have three big stars this one's going to go down here and use the pattern of your paper to show you where you need to put the embellishments because it's got stars all right, so if you can visualize that that's got gilded leaf all over it, that will be our, and we've got a star right in the middle, that will be our finished card. I'm not sure if I like that one, but again, it's just showing you that you don't have to be frugal with your paper like I normally am. And if you wanted, or the other thing we could do if I didn't, you didn't have gilded flakes, cover this with embossing um with Versamark then drop it into your embossing powder and you can make it look really really fabulous so you could use a silver or a gold or even a clear or a mixture of all of them actually that's what I might do instead of gilded flakes all right so just visualize that I'll finish that and post that card in the morning. Um, so we've got our three separate cards. Okay, I think they're... I keep looking at my watch, which isn't on because I can't get it on my wrist. Can't stand it being on my wrist today. Um, and so that's the second card. This is the first card... Yes, it does need a sentiment. You are right, Glenda. So let me just grab this. Let's see. Um, I'm a bit scared to stamp that directly on there and I really do need a square piece so we're going to leave that for now but I'll finish those cards off and post photos but that is my three things um, we have got vintage card class coming up at the end of the month um, so I think I have two places left in that class um so i'm excited about that we'll be using the rocking horse stamp set and the saint nicholas stamp set and um yeah so that's coming up we've got coffee cake and cards the first week in november um we have mystery stamping the first saturday in november and we also have um 
Tuesday Night Lights next week as well. So thank you very much for watching me tonight and putting up with my um, uncooperative hands and uncooperative <laughs> brain and words. My words and my hands weren't working the way that they should. But well, we got through it and um, I hopefully next week I won't, will be feeling a little bit better and we'll be able to um, concentrate a little bit better in order to teach better for you. <laughs> okay, everyone have a fantastic rest of the week and until next time, happy creating. Bye for now.